Welcome to our business study class. I want to believe that you watched the series on our cash book and 30 cash book. I have about five classes in that area. We discuss what a petty cash book is, what a cash book is, the one column, two column, three column cash book, the difference between the petty cash book and the cash book. That's where our previous classes on business studies. Please watch them, they will help you. Whichever class you find yourself, what are you are in GSS2, GSS3, SS1, SS2, SS3, those in the tertiary institution, these are things you learn too that helps you, they form the basis for your accounting classes. Thank you for being part of the class. Welcome. Consider subscribing if you have not. From all of you that are subscribed, thank you for subscribing. Those that are not subscribed and you love what to do here, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you like what you're doing here. Ask your question if you have any question. Let's dive into the class and see our topic for today. How can we gain from that topic? Um, right attitude to work is our class for today. We are getting, we are going to cover two major objectives. What's the meaning of attitude to work? And then attributes of right attitude to work. What are the attributes of it? Now let's go to the first meaning of attitude to work. What is attitude? Attitude. It's someone's opinion or feeling about something. And this feeling can either be negative or positive, good or bad, right or wrong. Individual perceptive about a particular thing, attitude. Either you accept it or you do not accept it. And then what will bring it to the work environment? Right attitude to work has to do with your feeling, your perception, your belief your cultural norms towards how to do your work very effectively to achieve organizational goal or to be productive even if you are doing it as a one-man business. So I want to talk about the right attitude to work. What is that feeling, that value, that opinion that you put into your work to achieve productivity, to achieve your set goals? to achieve your standard. What are those things you need to do to make sure that your work progresses effectively, that productivity is achieved, that your goals and plan are achieved? Every organization, every business without a plan, without a goal, will not be able to be productive as efficient as the one that have these goals and objectives. And so your right attitude to work will either increase your productivity or diminish your productivity. It will either expand your productivity or you will not expand at all. It either puts you on a progressive set standard or a retrogressive set standard. So your right attitude to work has to do with the value the opinion, the character, the futures, the values you put into your work system, be it individual work system, be it organizational work system. Whatever attitude you put in, we either make it or make it small. We either make it grow or make it down. We either make it profitable or make it unprofitable. We either help you achieve your goal or not achieve your goal. Why do we do business? Why do we come into business? To be productive. To make profit, to make money. That's why we go into business. So if your attitude to work is not efficient and productive, your um, major aim of going into business, which is to make profit, will be defeated. Nobody wants his um, business career to be defeated. So we want to put in the right attitude to work. Now let me explain what opinion is. As I have in the chalkboard, I have gone through them. Meaning of attitude to work. Attitude is someone's opinion or feeling about something. Uh, usually shown by the person's behavior. It's shown by your behavior. Attitude can be positive or right or negative or wrong. Attitude involves feelings, values, beliefs, and disposition that make individuals to act or behave in a certain way. Now, I'll bring it to attitude to work. 
Attitude to work is an individual feelings, values, and disposition towards their work, towards their job, towards their occupation, towards their skills. Whatever you do to put food on the table, whatever thing you consider as work, whatever things you consider as hustle, whatever things you consider that is profitable to you, the attitude you put into it matters a lot. We have seen the attitude we need. Uh, attitudes to work. What are the attributes of right attitude? What are those attributes? We want to mention them and try to explain them. But let's use these six um, attributes to explain the attributes that uh, good attitudes to work or somebody that has good attitude to work as it is. One is punctuality, honesty, consistency, diligence, devotion, and commitment. Punctuality. Beat the sun. What do I mean by beat the sun? Don't start your business when the sun has come out. Start early. When you start early, you achieve early and you can retire early and wait for the next day early. In your business, if you do not have a routine of when you start your business, your business is going to suffer because people will not know when to find you. Punctuality is the soul of business. When you are early, people know that you will be there and they know when you are going to be there. But you have no time frame for your business, it's going to suffer. Honesty. Don't play pranks, don't lie to people, don't cheat people. If you are honest with your business, people will know that you are a person of high value and they will trust you. Trust is what makes business thrive. Once people trust you, your business grows because they are going to put their money in your hands because they trust you are going to deliver good value to them. Don't give them substandard services or goods. Make it standard. Let it be the test of what your customers need. Consistency. Sure, you have to be there whether come rain, come shine. Whether you are tired, you push yourself, you are consistent. If you have a shop and it opens once in a week, people do not know whether they will find you or not. But when you are consistent, they will know that you will always be there. Even if you don't sell, be consistent. A time will come, they know people see your consistent nature. They start patronizing you because they know you are consistent. You always have what they want and you are always there to sell them. Consistency, you cannot underrate the power of consistency. As before you know it, your business empire grows because you are consistent. Diligence, put in the work. You can't lazy around and achieve your goals. You can't lazy around and make good profit. Be diligent with your work. Wake up in the morning, have a mental picture of what you're going to do. Follow it through, walk through it, and then get down to business. Devotion. Be devoted to the business. Put in your time, put in your effort. Be resilient. Be dedicated. Make sure that you have made time for your business. There should be time. Even if there are time for rest and the rest of them, allocate time for each of these ones and devote time for your business, for your business. Don't let other things take you off guard. And then commit me. Be committed to achieve your goal. If you plan to do something, micromanage your plan. Make daily plan, weekly plan, monthly plan, yearly plan, bi-yearly plan, long-term goals, short-term goals. This will help you. So we have seen some of the attributes. The attributes are so many. You can name more than 50. I just picked these six. Please put in these six I have mentioned to you in your business. Be punctual to your business. Be honest in your business. Consistent in your business. Diligent in whatever you do in your business, devote time and energy to your business, be committed to your business. This will help you. So we have seen the attributes of um, good attitudes to work. We will still take part two of right attitude to work. Other areas that will help our business to go. Until I come your way next time, consider subscribing, consider sharing, comment below the comment box. Thank you for being part of this community. Thank you for watching.